We got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's start off with this one. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this one says it's 10 pieces, 1 8 watt dip network array resistor. You can get more stuff in boxes. Interesting. All right, these are resistor networks. value they are. They say A102J, but they're uh, probably 10K, five resistor packages all in one. I've been playing around with resistor ladders and um, digital to analog for, uh, you know, really um, adding digital inputs to a single ADC pin on a microcontroller. And uh, you can you can get pretty good resolution depending on how stable your voltage is, but you can always sample that and correct for it, or you can um, uh, have a reference voltage in that, built in. But um, yeah, these are fairly cheap. And uh, these should be good for breadboarding too. I can throw a bunch of resistors on a breadboard without having to have all that mess that they usually are. Having all the resistors sticking out. All right, uh, next one is module. Let's take a look at this. This is, um, I don't know what this is. It's got a staple in it, that's weird. This is some kind of microcontroller, it looks like. Mm, SC16IS750 breakout. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look that up. I forget what that is. All right, next. Is that a... Hmm. Not really sure what that is. All right, next. This uh, regist register? Shift registers, maybe? Now this is a cool little board I found when I was looking for shift registers. Um, and I do really like the way they mounted those. That's what I'm going to do on the next uh, next PCB I make. I'm going to put these surface mount pins on the bottom, uh, just like that, exactly like that. But it's going to be uh, wider. I'm going to put them all the way in the middle so that the um, Dupont connectors are fully. Fully hidden underneath the board. I really like that. This is some kind of um, large digit driver. Uh, it says uh, TPI C6 C596 12 volt in out. I'm pretty sure it's just a shift register breakout. Um, ground latch clock. Yeah. It's a two channel, uh, no, flip flops, large digit driver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a, it's just a shift register out, uh, breakout board. I don't know what it's actually used for. It's got these castellated edges, which are interesting. I'm not sure what that is. What it's for. All right, next bulb transistor. I don't know what that means. Probably an 
a cigar or a MOSFET or something. These are some kind of transistors. Let's see what it says. Uh, now these might be voltage regulators or something. TL431A. Whole bunch of them. All right, next. Next item is extender. Lots of modules in this one. I don't remember buying all these modules, but I think I was just looking to have more stuff. Every time I go to breadboard something, I have I need something I don't have already, and I just keep buying more modules. Uh, this is an MCP two three zero one seven. I'm gonna guess that's an I/O expander. Hmm. Zero clock, most SDA, analog inputs, and yeah. This is either a, a port expander or a button display driver. All right, next. This lets you should let you add buttons and IOs just to a single SPI bus without, you know, using more than two, three pins. Machinery parts. Get in there. Tiny little thing. Oh, uh, this is a tiny little module I saw. It's uh makes me think this is what's in like inside those little epoxy things. It's the tiniest little uh AC to DC converter I've seen. It's just got a I don't know if it's good up to one. It says DC 310 volts. Four hundred volt capacitor. A little isolation transformer. I don't know what the ratio winding is. I think this is a twelve volt. Mm, it doesn't say. DC twelve zero zero three. Maybe it is. 12 volt. I thought I'd try that out and just see if uh, if it actually works. Um, I think I was gonna put a fan on this and just use a 12 volt computer fan, case fan, uh, and use this to put it on mains. I don't know how wise that is, but we'll see. All right, next up is module. Another module. That's a weird little bag. It's like a square bag. You see that? I've never seen a bag that size. Look at that. A little square bag. It's cute. All right, this uh, is a two pack. Let me get rid of that staple before I stab myself. You know, I really like to keep these modules in the packaging, but you know, you can't see them on a mail bag, so I gotta open them up. I gotta find a better way to organize them because right now they're just all piling up inside of a container. Mm, not really sure what this is. It says a CJ MCU two three one five seven. This chip says it is a. Two nine D J B R C M C M in two in one out. Uh, this might be some kind of analog switch, maybe. Not really sure. It's only got like one. Or th it's only got two inputs though. So I don't know. Usually, usually muxes and analog switches have uh, a lot more than two. Not sure what that is. Uh, this says Pentagon Oil Standard. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Oh, this is uh, kind of cool. This is a sight glass for oil. Glass is real 
really. I thought it'd be cool to be able to put this on something to have, uh, I wonder if I can get that out. Let's try it. Oh man, that's in there real good. Spot welded. There we go. All right. So I want to use this as a sight glass <laughs> to put through something and to be able to, you know, put a camera in there and have it weatherproof or something like that. If I want to try putting a camera or an indicator outside that's uh, somewhat weatherproof, it's got an O-ring built in. It's aluminum. It's actual. Should be actual. Actual glass. It might. Yeah, I think that's actual glass. No, looks like it's folded in. It's not very good optical quality either. So it's probably not going to work for a camera lens unless you can buff that out and polish it. Or uh, you'd have to undo this seam and redo it. Hmm, yeah. Probably not gonna work. You can see how cloudy that is. But uh, for using like a light sensor, if you want to put a, some kind of light sensor PCB in there like that, put it outside in an enclosure, it might keep it uh, protected. If anybody has any better ideas or nicer sight glass that's not extremely expensive, I'll check it out. Those are pretty cool. I think I got different sizes. I also got plastic ones uh, a couple mailbags ago. All right, next is Switch. All right, so I'm buying some AC switches that fit in round holes. This is a two-way. It uh, says it's uh, 6 amp, 250 volts, 10 amp at 125. Uh, mm, maybe. Maybe I'll tear one down and take a look at the contacts. This lets you pick one of two, so like a standby and then a you know power or safety or a, a high power, low power, something like that. Well, that's kind of cool. Three-way switch. Oh, sorry, two-way switch. That can handle some uh, high voltage, high current. Supposedly. Uh, next up is Module. Ooh, they didn't package that very good. No bubble wrap or nothing. Jeez. Looks like it got stabbed a couple times. This is a L. Jeez, it's rough. Hopefully, it's not damaged. This is an LCD. I think this is a yeah, 2.2 inch TFT, 240 by 320. Um, this looks like the ILI uh, screens. I think this is an ST7789 chipset on this. I don't know why they all come with the SD card reader either. It's very strange. I don't know what these made for 3D printers or something. Uh, photo frames? Or, I don't really know what these are made for. Some kind of old cell phone? Old Nokia cell phone? <laughs> but, uh... This should be a nice quality, smaller screen. Alright, that's it for now. Till next time!